Thanks for checking out the place value video for MathCelebrity.com. My name is Don Subsic, founder of Math Celebrity. And in the next two minutes, I'm going to show you exactly how to determine place value for a number. So let's get started. Now when a problem asks you to determine place value, what they want you to do is to describe the digit in a certain part of a number or a decimal. And remember, each digit in a number, whether it's to the left or the right of a, de a decimal place, has a different place value assignment. And each digit in the place value also has a different numerical multiplier. And let's walk through that now. Let's take the decimal 2367.158. And we're going to walk through the place value for the seven numbers in this decimal. So 2 is the thousands place, 3 is the hundreds place, 6 is the tens place, 7 is the ones place. Now let's go to the right of the decimal. 1 is the tenths place, 5 is the hundredths place, and 8 is the thousands place. Now let's take this one step further and visualize the place values to build the multiplier to show you how this number is constructed. If 2 is the thousands place, what we're saying is we multiply 2 by 1,000. The same goes for 3, 6, and 7. Everything to the left of the decimal place is multiplied by a factor of 10. Now notice 10 to the 0 power is 1. So we've got 6, we've got 7 as the ones place, 6 is the tens place, and 3 is a hundredths place. So we take the number times the value of the place value multiplier. And then once we get to the right of the decimal place, we start dividing. So 1 is the tenths place. And really what we're saying is 1 divided by 10. 5 is the hundredths place. Notice the th. And finally, 8 is the thousandths place. So we're dividing by a thousand. If you work out this math, add it all up, you're going to get this number. So the place value serves two purposes. First, it tells you where in the number you sit. For instance, 3 is the hundredths place. Everybody knows that's the third place to the left of the decimal. And second, the place value tells you how much to multiply that specific number by in the construction of your overall number. Now, in the future, you're going to have other decimals that you need to determine a place value for. So what are you supposed to do? Instead of backing into the numbers from this video, I've got a calculator for you. Now, if you're on the Math Celebrity site, you know how to find the place value. If you're finding us from YouTube for the first time, I got you covered. I'm going to put a link to the calculator in the description of the video. And here is an example of how you'd ask for a place value on our site. So let's go to this link here. You're going to drop right in the search box here and you can type anything similar to place value for 345.1694. We'll just make up a decimal. Hit return and boom. This is going to walk you through the exact steps we just discussed in the presentation. So it goes from left to right, marks the digit in red, explains to you what that digit is, and then tells you on a numerical basis what that means. So for instance, 3 is our hundredths digit. That means 3 sets of 100. And it keeps walking through step by step. Once it switches over from whole number to decimal, that means you are now on the right of the decimal point. So 3, 4, 5 is on the left, and once we hit our tenth digit, it's on the right, so that's a decimal position, and it walks you all the way through. Now here's the cool part. If you want to see that full expanded notation I showed you for each place value, you just click this link here, and boom, we work out each step. 3 times 100, 4 times 10, 5 times 1, and then we're dividing here. So it's two moves in one, and... That is how you master place value. I want to thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next video.